Hello, I'm back again uh, with Ben and Bear. I um, have really been enjoying doing mixed media lately after the junk journal. Oh my goodness, the fly. The fly won't go away. Okay, after doing the mixed media junk journals that I showed yesterday, I've um, really been in this, well, I mean, even before that, I've been in this uh, mixed media type mode and really getting back into the paint and getting messy and just having fun layering things. And, um, someone asked me if I could do a, um, image transfer tutorial, and I thought, well, yeah, while I'm doing this, <laughs> sure, why not? So, I ignore the mess over here, my daughter has been crafting as well, and we're sharing space, so, um, <laughs> oh, we're running out of room. Anyways, on topic, Marcia, get back to it. I have taken... <laughs> taken these little pieces, which I've now glued to my paper, taken these little pieces of the painter's canvas, like I said, it's like a, it's a woven fabric that has um, gesso on it so that it can receive paint, um, so it's ready to receive paint, and so I've painted this using acrylic paint, and I, it created this texture, I mean this uh, crackle texture, I'm not 100% sure how I did it, but I do know that after I put on the acrylic paint, I sprayed it with some alcohol ink while it was still wet, and then I hit it with a blow dryer. So I don't, it was a combination of those things. Don't ask me 100% how I did it or what caused it. But um, I have layered on some papers here. We have some book, te book text and some like pattern papers. And um, yeah just layered them on there just very random right now and I've chosen some images um, these are some of my photographs that I printed onto just I'm missing one. Oh no there's supposed to be three I dropped one these are <laughs> this is gonna be such a random video um, these are some of my photographs which I printed onto just uh, 20 pound copy paper um, on my what kind of printer is it inkjet printer, home printer, nothing fancy. Um, there's a bunch of noise in the background. There's laundry going. People are, people are living life. Um, okay. So I'm gonna <laughs> get back on track. Oh my goodness. What is wrong with me? I'm gonna get back on track. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to transfer these images on here like so. Now, when you transfer your images, keep in mind, you're gonna be flipping them over so they will be reversed from what you see. So if you want it to be like this, reverse it in a photo editor or I what I used honestly was just a Word document. I inserted pictures onto my Word document and then I cropped and resized and um, put several on a page at one time in the sizes that I wanted and then just printed them out. So when we do this, we're going to be flipping the picture over this way. Now I have a window here, right, because it's a picture of a window, and I want to put some words in the window. And I have several um, phrases that I've cut out of book page, a book page, and I want to see what works. This is the medium sized window, so I think I want to do this, well, that one's smaller. I'm going to use the over there. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Through. I'm going to take that word out, I think. We have through. I need to trim that off. So we're going to have through the open window. And I have lines. I just want to see how. Oops, it's starting to stick. How is that going to work? Move this down just a little bit. Okay, I think I want to do it like that. There's the word looked there too, but I'm not going to use that one. So I've decided where I want it and how I want it. So I'm going to take my gel medium, which actually I have some right here. Add to it. And this is just really cheap. Um, matte 
gel medium from this is uh, this is Dollaroni brand I picked up at Walmart it was really cheap I don't think Walmart carries it anymore at least mine doesn't so um, there's always that um, I'm gonna move those over add some of this like so oops and I use my finger to do this because I can press out air bubbles using my fingers and I can I don't have the texture or I won't once I'm done of a paintbrush this isn't going to be exactly where I had it to begin with but close enough I just want to remember there are the the bars in the window that I don't want to cover up my thing my words okay and I'm gonna put this on fairly thick because I feel that it works better thick okay then I'm gonna take my picture I want to make sure that the glue covers the area of the picture so I'm gonna put or the medium matte medium here and I'm gonna press this hopefully I'm trying to use the light from my wind from the window but it's not really working okay I'm gonna press this on here I don't want any air bubbles in there I'm not, I don't want to press the edges, um, that's my personal preference because I don't like sharp edges. In fact, what I may even do is just um, pull this up a bit so that the tr image doesn't um, transfer like that sharp line on the edge. You can see it's already kind of, well you probably can't see because my hand's in the way, <laughs> but I was just going to say. it will start to transfer instantly but I like waiting for the gel medium to dry before I try to pull the page the paper off and I'm so I'm gonna let this dry so I do this I'm trying to think and talk at the same time okay I'm gonna let it dry just like that okay I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more just gel medium just to kind of seal it a bit more around the other bits and pieces. I'm going to let that completely dry and then I will come back and show you the rest. In the meantime I'm going to um, finish collaging these two and then I will come back and show you how I finish that. Okay I'm back. It has dried. The gel medium has completely dried and I have a just a little spray bottle of just water. Plain water and I'm going to spray the back of it and kind of soak it pretty good. And then um, just start rubbing. I like starting in the middle. Just rub the paper off. The paper goes and the image stays. So it's really, really that easy. Now the, um, the white parts of the image obviously don't have color. They're just the color of the paper. So there will be nothing there. And you'll be able to see all the great paint texture in the background. And this one has some, um, a little bit of texture in the dark area around the window, but it's pretty dark. But like right here, it's light. You can see um, a word that I'm showing through there. Like I said, I didn't like that straight edge. I did kind of end up with one over here. I might be able to, yeah, I think the black is coming off but you can just wipe it off. What I might do is get a paper towel if I want to because it's not gonna it's not gonna stick to the um, gel medium. And if you don't rub too hard you don't have to worry about rubbing 
off your words because they're under the gel medium. They're sealed in pretty good. This one was pretty dark, so some of that ink is coming off. But that's the that's the majority of it. I'm gonna have to go through and clean that up a little bit more. But um, yeah, there it is. That's the the main um, process of image transfer using a photocopy. Here are the other two. I went ahead and finished them. First of all, I do want to point out it's pretty cool that the word that's in that light space right there is composition. And, you know, the whole thing is a composition. I just had to, <laughs> little things like that. Um, this is the other one. It says, see light in this world. I didn't get enough gel medium right there, apparently, because part of this is missing. I rubbed, rubbed too hard or something. This one says, I looked and never went. And it ha is, this is a actual door. The others are windows and walls, and this one is a door. Um, so, yeah. There they are, and I do have some others that I am working on, and I might just do a little show and tell at the end of this video, showing those once they're finished. I'm going to take these and I'm going to stitch them onto some cardstock and make um, little pieces of art out of them. I do want to back them with something to give them some st some stability, and also because that's not that's not very pretty there. But I'll stitch those on and. Um, they will be going in my shop um, probably this evening sometime. Hopefully I can get everything done before the sun goes down so I can get some pictures of them. <laughs> we'll see. If not, they'll go up tomorrow. Either way, um, you can look forward to those in the shop if you're interested or if you just want to play, um, play around and try your own images and stuff and some collage and see what you come up with on your own. Okay, I was able to finished them up and I stitched them onto the um, cards that I was talking about and I just wanted to give you a quick look. These are the ones that we were working on um, earlier. So I will just give you a quick look. I looked and never went. That's what this one here says. Through the open door. See lights in this world. That's those. They're very um, Rustic, very um, kind of aged wood and old windows. These two are a little bit simpler and um, they have flowers as the images. This one says loving and tireless. This one here says she has tried a long time. And it has some great crackle in the background. This one didn't get as much crackle, hardly any. This one has some great crackle right there. Hopefully you can see that. The lighting seems to be a bit darker now than it was before. Well, I mean, that makes sense. <laughs> Anyways, these are sunset images, and I did bright colored backgrounds on these, and I collaged on some papers. We got map and some text paper here. And this one says, Recollecting I Breathed, and there's the sunset there. And the colors in the background match really well. This one says, Sitting in this memory. This one has a bit of, um, oh, Sunset Beach. <laughs> I guess I should have clarified. It's not just a sunset, but it's on the beach. So, um, yeah. You can see where the water is and the colors. This one says, Hope for a better end. This one has some um, plants there on the beach and the water and the sunset in the background. It's more of the map and the text paper. So that's those and they will be listed in my Etsy shop by the time this video is up. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that you got something out of it and it encourages you to go play with your stuff. Thanks guys. Bye.